Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Barry Zundell from Evolution Studios and VR Vomit. And today I wanted to unbox this. Now what we've got here is we've got a stereo rig from 360 Heroes, which is now 360rise.com. Uh, this is one of the cool rigs that they've got to be able to do stereo shooting as well as mono, sh as mono shooting. And so we're gonna be able to use this on our, on our equipment, on our tripods and we upgraded all of our cameras to the Hero 5 Black Edition uh, to go with this. Now this comes uh, right off the bat, it comes with uh, slots for the Hero 4, like this. All right, so first things first, uh, I'm gonna take the label off here with the shipping information. There we go, it's nice and sealed up. Take that off, here's my invoice and everything. Let's open this up. What we have here packing slip and then inside shabam so all right so first things very nice velour velvet 360 heroes bag to be able to carry it in that's important because uh with this rig i always carry it around in this other felt, little felt bag that i have just to keep it all safe especially when you have the cameras in it and you don't want the cameras to get messed up um you definitely want you definitely want something to carry it in. So that's really cool. So it looks like it's gonna be a decently good sized rig. It's like a round pouch thing like this, which is really cool. All right, so now we have the enclosures. So what this is, each one of these are the enclosures for the, uh, for the camera. So each one of these hooks onto the rig and uh, encloses the camera. Now the nice thing is these are self-closing and then they won't come open unless you put some really pretty good torque on them. So the nice thing about this is you don't have to have a screwdriver like you do with this one. So with this one I had to use a, a hex wrench uh, to get them out. It's not that big a deal when you have six cameras but when you have 14 you don't want to have to do that. The nice thing is they're all numbered so it tells you here's number 12. Look at this paper thing here. Okay we got a couple of pens touchscreen pen right here and then you go like that and it's a regular pen it says 360 rise pretty cool um, screwdriver they include with it which is really cool so a little screwdriver just flathead screwdriver and then we've got the mount which is really nice uh, so a nice heavy-duty steel mount uh, or aluminum I can't really tell it's pretty heavy so it feels like steel but it's painted black so and then here is the big the big guy right here. Now this is awesome because this is solid. Solid uh, aluminum I think it is. And it's just a plug and play 3D Pro. It tells you where to plug everything in. So it's got 10, 9, 8, 7, and then you've got 11B, 11A, and 12B on top. And then there's th uh, 13, 12, and 14 on the bottom. So you've got all your cameras that you can stick on here. And what happens you take one of these guys, so number 12, right? And then it comes with a bunch of screws and an Allen wrench. And you take one of these screws and you put it right in here. And then you mount that on it like this. So you can put a camera here, a camera here, or a camera right on top. So you can do one on top if you want, or you can do stereo with the two. We're gonna be doing stereo shooting, so that's what we're gonna be doing, and we'll put them on like this too. The other thing that you can do here, let's get the stand, is mounting this thing. So you can mount it in a bunch of different ways. So here's the mounting uh, options. You can have it like this, mounted like this at an angle, which is kind of nice. Straight up and down, like this. Or you can have it mounted at the other angle like this, which is kind of nice. Put it together and then we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So we got the whole thing put together got all the pieces put on it and then I put uh, six cameras in it my Hero 4's that I have from this rig first of all very solid the only thing you hear are just the ones that don't have cameras in them the doors are jingling back and forth a little bit but these cameras are not coming out they're being held in by a pin here 
as well as this clip down, really solid. So the one thing I would say that was a little, uh, little hard was to get these onto the posts. It took a lot of strength and a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure to get them down on the posts. Um, they don't slide very well. They're pretty hard to get on. You have to kind of rock them back and forth to get them down. And then you never know if they're all the way down or not. And that, that's probably by design, just so they're really tight and they don't, they don't come off. Um, the screws help fasten it down so now it doesn't move at all. Um, but even with the screws in and down, I could probably still wiggle it a little bit because I don't think I got it down all the way. And I didn't want to take the screw and go too hard on it to where I was afraid I was going to crack it. But other than that, super rigid, which will be great. Um, fit really well. We're going to hang it under a drone, uh, a large drone, a hexcopter. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, it's really good. So my biggest complaint was that they're hard to get on. They're really hard to get on. And then taking them off, I'm not sure how hard it's going to be. Only other thing that I would say about this so far is that I just took these six cameras and none of them have batteries in them because I'm charging all my batteries over here. Um, none of them have batteries in them. And I went and I weighed this. And this right here weighs about 2 pounds 12 ounces with everything attached to it. Now on the website it says fully loaded with all the cameras on it, it weighs two pounds eight ounces. So I don't know why it says that, um, but with the cameras and batteries and everything, this was two pounds 12 ounces, I think, um, with just six cameras on it. And if I, if I have seven on there, that adds a little bit more and then double that weight. So it's gonna be pretty darn heavy, um, which you have to have, if you're gonna put this on a drone, you have to have a big, a big drone to do that. That's why we're using a hexcopter. This, super solid. I feel really good about this. This is going to be great for doing uh, stereo VR as well as if we just want to do mono VR. We can record each of these and then you, you basically have dual mono VR um, if you want to just use one as a backup. So really good overall. Easy to put together. So I hope you learned a little bit about the 360 Rise uh, 3D or 360 3D Pro uh, 1214. Um, really great piece of equipment. Super stable, super tight. Um, feels very, very well made. Subscribe to our video at VR Vomit and um, we'll, we'll keep you up to date with what's going on and you can check out the 360 video from this and I'll do a review after I do that too. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.